Lying down on your back in Shavasana. Arms and legs comfortably apart. Mentally scan the body from toes to the head. Release the tight tension, the tightness by focusing on each part of the body, starting with the toes. Relax the feet. Relax the legs. Relax the back. Relax the arms, shoulders, leg. Head and the face. Watch your mind. Let go of the thoughts. Focus on the breath. Take a few long, deep breaths. Long inhalations, the abdomen expands. And longer exhalations, the abdomen contracts. Inhale to your full capacity. And exhale the breath completely. Breathe into the whole body, from toes to the head. Every exhalation relaxes the body deeper and deeper. Join the legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch the arms over the head and give a nice stretch to the body. Release the stretch, bend the knees, turn over to one side and please sit up for the prayer. Sit up straight, any comfortable position. Keep the eyes closed and concentrate on the prayer. Om Namah Shivaya Guruve Satitanandamurtae 
निष्पंचाय शांताय श्री शिवानंदे नम श्री विष्णुदेवानंदे नम ओं सर्वंगल मंगले शिव सर्वाध साधि के शरण्ये त्र्यंबके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तुते नारायणी नमोस्तुते शांति 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 ओम श्री हरि वेलकम टू द क्लास लेट्स गेट रेडी taking two deep breaths in here exhale in here exhale the first round of kapalabhati take your sitting posture both the hands on the knees in chin mudra relax the body and straighten up inhale deeply and again attention keep the back straight shoulders roll back face relax chin parallel to the mat inhale three quarters of your lungs hold the breath very gently slowly with control exhale inhale Exhale. The next round of Kapalabhati. Take your sitting posture. Relax the face, neck, and the shoulders. Inhale deeply, and begin. One two, one two, one two, one two, one two. Thank you. 
circulate freely through the body. Do not tense the abdomen or the chest or the lungs. Slowly with control, let's say inhale Exhale. Now, if you have to, you may stretch the legs forward, shake out the legs, or just maintain the sitting posture. Get ready for the alternate nostril breathing, any comfortable sitting position. Right hand in Vishnu Mudra, left hand in Chin Mudra. Keep the back straight, shoulders roll back, chest open, and lift the spine from the base. Take two breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Block the right nostril with your right tongue, alternate nostril breathing. Through the left, inhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, hold the breath, close the nostrils. Right, exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right, on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Be fully aware of your breath. Long inhalations, long exhalations, using the full lung capacity. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale left on one, on two, on three, on four. Gently hold, close the nostrils. Right exhale, on um, one, on um, two, on um, three, on um, four, on um, five, on um, six, on um, seven, on um, eight. Inhale, right on um, one, on um, two, on um, three, on um, four. Gently hold, close the nostrils. Left exhale, on um, one, on um, two, on um, three, on um, four, on um, five, on um, six, on um, seven, on um, eight. Inhale, left on um, one, on um, two, on um, three, on um, four. Move the breath, close the nostrils. Right exhale, on um, one, on um, two, on um, three, on um, four, on um, five, on um, six, on um, seven, on um, eight. Inhale, right on um, one, on um, two, on um, three, on um, four. Relax the body. 
relax the mind, focus at the third eye center. If you have any mantra, please repeat mentally or choose own universal mantra for mental repetition. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Become aware in the body. Lift the spine from the base, keep the back straight, shoulders rolled back, chest open. Head in the center, right elbow close to the chest, face relaxed, neck relaxed. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, four, four gently close the nostrils. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, four, hold, close the nostrils. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four, retain gently, close the nostrils. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, retain gently. Relax the body, sit up straight, watch your mind. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, four, hold the breath, close the nostrils. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, four, retain the breath, last round. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right, on one, on two, on three, on four, hold the breath last breath retention. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Bring the hand down. Stay here and relax the body. Keep the eyes closed. Normal breathing. Slowly stretch the legs and lie down. Take rest in Shavasana. Arms apart and the legs apart. Relax the body. Focus on slow breathing.
Take a deep inhalation. Bring your legs together. Interlock your fingers. Stretch your arms up. Move the toes forward and stay in the stretch. Try to touch the toes down. Feel that good stretch in the ankles. Now pull the toes in, push the heels up and press the load back down by contracting the abdomen. Strain the stretch, stretch, release the stretch. Bend the knees, turn over to one side and please stand up. Let's take two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. The first round of Surya Namaskar. Feet together. Inhale. As you exhale, join the palms to the chest. Take two breaths here. Thumbs touching the heart center. Palms pressing against each other. Shoulders away from the ears. And elbows towards the mat, towards the floor. So don't stretch the elbows to the sides. Just keep them close to the chest and pointing downwards. Inhale, raise the arms up along the ears. Push the hip forward, look up to the hands. A gentle large back, don't do too much in the beginning. As you exhale, stretch the body forward and come down. Keep the knees bent and bring the hands by the side of the feet. As you inhale, stretch the right leg back, right knee down, toes pointing back and look up. Tuck the right toes in, take the left leg back, hold the plank, breathe. Straighten your body. Now, as you exhale, knees down, keep the buttocks up, chest between the hands, forehead or chin on the mat. Keeping the elbows close to the chest, inhale, slide forward, arch back into cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes in, lift your buttocks up. Let's take two breaths here. Adjust your body, be comfortable. Try not to push too hard. Just be with your breath. And now on the inhalation, bring the right leg forward. Left knee down, look up. As you exhale, bring the left leg forward. Correct your posture. Keep the hands, fingertips or the palms pressing down. Bend the knees. Bring the chest close to the thighs. Hold it close to the knees. So just see that the upper body is hanging loose towards the legs. Try not to tense the neck or the shoulders to do more. Be with the breath. Be gentle with the body in the beginning. Now as you inhale, stretch the body forward. Stretch up. Push the hip forward, look up. And exhale, release the posture. Left side, inhale and exhale. Join the palms to the chest. Inhale, lengthen your arms up and not back. Exhale, lengthen the body forward and reach down with full awareness. Left leg back, inhale, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, body in a straight line, back like a tabletop. Exhale, knees, chest and forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back into cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, bring the left leg forward. Left foot between the hands, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Shift the body weight forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward. Stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Second round with full awareness. Inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back. Look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward, reach up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. 
Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, bring the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Third round, doing just a little more than the previous two rounds, stretching more and breathing more deeply. Inhale and exhale, join the palm to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Lengthen the back first and then push the hip forward. Keep the elbow straight, knee straight. Exhale, stretch the body forward. Lengthen the back and then reach down. Bring the chest close to the thighs, forehead close to the knees. Now you see if it's possible, you may straighten the legs without lifting the hands up. Inhale, stretch the right leg back a little more away. Take two breaths here. Feel the stretch in the back. And as you push the right knee more away, feel it in the inner thigh, right leg. Now tuck the right toes in, take a breath, take the left leg back, plank pose. Keep the back like a tabletop, breathe. Pull the abdomen in, bhati. Breathe. Exhale, knees down, chest between the hands, fold it down, fold it down. Slide the body forward. Inhale, arch back into go. Breath, relax the shoulders. Do lesser, relax the shoulders, elbows close to the chest. Exhale, tuck the toes in, lift the buttocks up. Stay here comfortably. So never try to walk the feet forward. Just press the heels down wherever you are. Do not disturb the distance between the feet and the hands. Get a good grip of the mat by separating the fingers. Do not lock the elbows. Keep them soft but straight. Same with the knees. Pull the abdomen in. Push the chest more down. Keep the head in line with the arms. So imagine there is glue between the ears and the upper arms and then you're pushing the chest down. As you inhale, bring the right leg forward. Move the left knee more back. Stay here for two breaths and look up. Place the hands down. Breathe. We will move the leg more back. Great. As you exhale, bring the left leg forward. Hang the upper body. Not, do not put too much pressure anywhere in the body. Let the neck relax, shoulders relax. Inhale, straighten the body forward first and then reach up. Pull up with the waist, push the hip forward, look up. Elbow straight, knee straight and exhale, release. Left side, inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down. Inhale, the left leg back, all the way, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, body in a straight line. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Fourth round. Inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg all the way back and look up. Hold the breath, lift leg back, body in a straight line. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release, left side. Inhale, and exhale, palm to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. 
Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Next round, inhale. And exhale, palm to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch apart, back, look up. And exhale, release. Left side, inhale. And exhale, palm to the chest. Inhale, arms apart, back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath right. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted leg. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right. Stretch forward, stretch up. Inhale. Exhale, last round. Inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch up and arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward. Let's stay here, breathe. Move the left leg as far back as you can. And then lift the hands off the mat, place the hands on the right thigh, push the pelvis more down without putting too much pressure on the knee or the thigh. And then arch the back, drop the head back. Let's feel more stretch in the hip joint, in the right leg, inner, uh, left leg inner side. And slowly place the hands down. Take your time, bring the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Last time on the left side, inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Stay here just for two breaths. And now bring the left leg forward. Left foot between the hands. Move the right leg far back. Lift the hands off the mat. Place the hands loosely on the left thigh and push the pelvis more down. Now arch the back and drop the head back. Keep breathing. Breathe into the stretch. Do your best. Body is fully warmed up. And now place the hands down. Taking your own time on the exhalation, bring the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back and look up. And exhale, release. Please sit down and lie down, take rest in Chavasana. Always go with the breath and understand the difference between good pain and bad pain. Legs in Shavasana, legs apart, arms apart. But unless you make an effort, you never advance in the practice. So always try to stretch a little more than what you can do. But at the same time, you must listen to your body. And every day the practice is different, body behaves in a different way. So do not worry if your practice on any day is not up to the mark. Much depends on the diet on the previous day. It depends on the state of the mind. And it also depends on your sleep.
So respect whatever you get on that particular day and be happy with your practice. Take a deep breath, slide the legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms up, stretch the whole body, release the stretch, place the arms close to the body, let's get ready for the single raises. As you inhale, stretch the right leg up, legs are together, feet are pointing up, chin to the chest, exhale, bring the right leg down, with full awareness, take the left leg up, push the heel out, exhale, bring the left leg down, right leg up, inhale, let's keep the leg a little lower down, straighten the knee, push the front of the knee to the back of the knee, even if you are able to do it 90 degrees, please listen, and bring the leg a little lesser, uh, lower down. Push the front of the knee to the back of the knee, pull the toes in and let the sole face up. Stay here, breathe. Keep pushing the left thigh to the mat. And slowly exhale, bring the right leg down. Left leg up, inhale. Lower the leg a bit. Push the front of the knee to the back of the knee. Understand what's happening in the legs. Keep both the legs active, press the load back down, engage the abdominal muscles. And slowly exhale, bring the left leg down. So when you raise the right uh, legs up 90 degrees, your legs have to be this kind of straight. A micro bend in the knees is fine, but not too much. Inhale, raise the right leg up as much as possible, keeping the knee actually straight. Exhale, bring the right leg down. Left leg up, inhale, and exhale down. Right leg up, inhale, catch hold of the right thigh. Bring the leg closer to the body. Now, on the exhalation, raise the head up, chest up, and walk the hands up, come up. Once again, watch the knee. Hold a little lower down. If the knee bends, keep the eyes open, watch your practice and push the left thigh closer down. Engage the core. Working so deeply on the abdominal organs while you hold the posture. Go with your breath. Relax the neck muscles. Slowly, as you exhale, bring the head and chest down. Bend the right knee to the chest, hug it. Close to the chest. And now stretch the right arm in line with the shoulder. Hold the outside of the right knee with your left hand. Supta Matsendrasana. On the exhalation, bring the right knee down towards the left. Hook the right foot behind the left thigh or place it in front of the left leg on the floor. Focus on pressing the shoulders to the mat completely and enjoy that good abdominal stretch that's taking place. Breathe into that stretch. Inhale, slowly come up and exhale. Bring the knee close to the chest, hug it tightly. Now keep the arms close to the body. As you inhale, raise the right leg up. Exhale with control, bring it down. Left leg up, inhale. Hold the left thigh with both your hands. Keep the knee straight. On the exhalation, raise the head up, chest up and come up. Just one leg. So try to straighten the knee. Watch it. Chin stretching up towards the left toes. Relax the shoulders away from the ears and push the right thigh more down. Bharti. Neck relaxed. 
reduce the resistance to hold the posture. Just go with your breath and enjoy the practice. Slowly, exhale, bring the head and chest down, bend the left knee close to the chest, hug it tightly. Now stretch the left arm in line with the shoulder and hold the outside of the left knee with your right hand to bring the left knee down to the right side as you exhale. Hook the left foot behind the right thigh or place it in front of the right leg. Head is turned to the left, press the left shoulder completely down. Focus on deep breathing, slow breathing. Be fully aware of your posture, of your breath. Do not lift the left shoulder up. More you relax the body, more the knee will come down without lifting the shoulder up. Inhale slowly, come back up to the center and hug the knee as you exhale close to the chest. Keep the arms by the side of the body. Inhale, raise the left leg up. And as you exhale, lower the leg. Now get ready for double leg raises. Arms under the body, hands under the head, or arms on the side of the body. Let's find your way where you're comfortable. Legs together, toes pointing up, chin to the chest. Inhale, raise both your legs up with full awareness. Push the heels out and bring the legs down close to the mat. Hold it here. Inhale, raise the legs up. Keep the knees straight, lower back on the mat. Exhale, bring the legs down close to the mat. Hold for two breaths. Inhale, raise the legs up. Don't be in a rush. Exhale, bring the legs down with control and hold for two breaths. Inhale, come up. Exhale, down close to the mat. Don't touch the mat. You've been in practice for such a long time now. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bring the legs down. One more time. Inhale up with control, exhale, bring the legs down. Stay for two breaths before you bring the legs down completely and slowly release. Shavasana for two breaths. Turn the head side to side. Now bend the knees close to the chest. Press the lower back to the mat. Let's do some more work on the hip joint. Place the feet down. Hip distance apart, knees apart, hip distance. Separate the arms in line with the shoulders. Matkatasana. Inhale. As you exhale, lower the knees to the right and turn the head to the left. Now move the left foot more up towards the left buttock and try to place the top of the foot down if your body is ready top of the foot. So the toes are pointing towards the left shoulder, the left toes towards the left shoulder. Now place the right foot on the left thigh. If you feel you can press it down more, just do it. Stay in the stretch. Try not to lift the chest up. And slowly release the posture, come back to the center, place the feet down. Inhale, as you exhale, lower the knees to the left. Turn the head to the right. This posture really helps in uh, Dhanurasan when you do it. So now move the right foot more up towards the right body and point the right toes towards the right shoulder. So placing the top of the foot to the mat. Now place the left foot on the right thigh and push it more down. Stay here, breathe. Become aware of the stretches, of the pressure. Absorb that stretch that's taking place in the frontal thigh. Do not resist the posture. Do not resist the stretch. And slowly release the posture. Bring the feet down to the mat. Bend the knees as you exhale to the chest. Hug the knees for a while. Keep the arms close to the body. Inhale, raise the legs up. And exhale slowly, bring the legs down. Take a breather, relax in Shavasana. 
answer part in the lecture part. <clears throat> Bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch the arms up and stretch the whole body. Release the stretch, bend the knees, turn over to one side, sit up, relax into the child's pose. Whether you do the headstand or not, please everybody, relax into the child's pose. In this practice, every posture has a meaning. And please slowly sit up. Let's get ready for the headstand practice. Sit up on the heels. So if you're not in the headstand, at least try the first few steps or maybe you uh, put the head down holding the ankles and let the blood flow towards the head. Now hold the opposite elbows, place the forearms ahead of the knees, stretch the uh, forearms forward, interlock the fingers and now lift the buttocks up, place the top of the head down, back of the head against the hands. <coughs> Sorry. Tuck the toes in, straighten the knees up. Walk forward. Now bend the knees to the chest and move the knees up, gently, slowly coming up, straighten the legs up. Headstand, Chichasan. Once you are up into the headstand, keep the abdomen pulled in. Relax the body. Relax the legs completely. Blood rushing towards the head. So do not resist. Do not tense any part of the body. Just let go and still the body for some time. Now let's do a few variations, separate the legs apart. Bend the knees, join the soles together. Move the, twist the body to the right, back to the center, twist the body to the left, come back to the center. And let's get ready for the scorpion. Give it a try. Straighten the legs up first. Okay, that's the way you do it. Bend the knees, arch your back. Place the hands by the side of the head and try to lift the head up. Okay, very good. Come down, relax in the child's pose. Please sit up, take rest in Shavasana. Bring your arms apart and the legs apart. Turn the head side to side and relax.
Mm. Bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms up. Give a good stretch to the body, stretch the whole body. Release the stretch. Get ready for the shoulder stand cycle, Sarvangasana first. Feet together, chin to the chest, move the shoulders down, arms by the side of the body, inhale, raise the legs up. Exhale, swing the trunk up and support the back into the shoulder stand. Adjust the body. You may like to bend the knees, so do that. Move the shoulders and shoulder blades in a way that the elbows come closer. Walk the hands towards the middle back. And please come up now into the shoulder stand. Shift the body weight towards the shoulders. Reduce the resistance, the pressure on the hands. So once you shift the body weight forward, the body can relax better. Push the buttocks towards the head. Relax the feet, the calves, the chins, the knees, the thighs, the buttocks. Close your eyes and still the body for two more minutes. Visualize the benefits that you get by holding the posture, the meditative posture. Focus on the throat region, the Vichuddha Chakra. Lengthen up a little body a little more as you inhale. On the exhalation, bring the right leg over the head. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale the left leg down. Inhale the left leg up. Now bring the left foot across the right thigh. And remember to do this what you can. Do not force your neck muscles. On the exhalation, bring the right leg down over the head and move the left knee away from the body wherever you've reached. Inhale, slowly come up. Interchange your legs, stretch the legs and bend the right knee, right foot across the left thigh. On the exhalation, bring the left leg down over the head. Go down slowly with control. And move the right knee away from the forehead. Keep the tailbone lifted up so that the toes can reach down. Inhale, slowly come up. Straighten both your legs up, adjust your body, walk the hands more down towards the middle back and on the exhalation, very slowly, lower the legs over the head and come down to Halasana. Only if the toes touch the mat, you may release the arms on the mat, interlock the hands, interlock the fingers and stretch the arms away. Tailbone lifted up, shoulder blades together, shoulders pushing down. Release the neck from tension by bringing the shoulder blades together as you stretch the arms forward. Push the knees away from the forehead and walk the toes in towards the head. So just for a while, let the toes point outwards, bringing the top of the feet to the, mat, to the floor. And once you've done that, you may tuck the toes in again. Now get ready for either releasing the posture, using your arms as brakes, or just support the back and come up into the Sarvangasana. So if you've come down on the floor, you can come up into the Setubandasana by bending the knees. And from the shoulder stand, move into the Setubandasana, bringing one leg or both the legs down. 
on the mat. Keep supporting the back. If you've come down from Setu Bandhasan, oh sorry, from Sarvangasan, it is easier to hold the back. And now, if you are holding the back, raise the right leg up. If you are holding the ankles, hold one left ankle with both your hands and raise the right leg up. Exhale, the right leg down. Bhart your fingertips towards the spine, thumbs towards the abdomen. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, the left leg down. Now, those who can, just pick up again into the shoulder stand. One leg up and the other leg up. Very good. And then again into the Setu Bandhasan. Very good, Mahesh. Hold the ankles and stay up for the last five counts. Do your best. Lift the buttocks more up. Make your thighs parallel to the mat and squeeze an imaginary cushion between the knees and the thighs. Hold five. Four, three, two, one, and slowly come down. Take rest for a while before you come up in Jakrasan. Now get ready. Bend the knees, place the heels close to the buttocks, knees apart, feet apart, hands under the shoulders, fingers turned inwards. Initial position is very important to have a good. Final posture in the grass and inhale, raise the buttocks up, press the hands and lift the chest up. So aim to lift the chest more up towards the ceiling, place the heels down and try to straighten the knees a bit. Stay up. Hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, slowly come down. Bring both the knees close to the chest and hug the knees tightly. Let's do the Suttipavan Muktasan. Raise the head up, chest up as you exhale and come up. Keep pressing the lower back to the mat. Contract the abdomen. Bring the knees into the chest. Leave no space for air to reach between your knees and the chest. That's how the knees are close to the chest. Stretch the chin, nose or forehead towards the knees. Relax the shoulders and breathe. And slowly bring the head and chest down, arms by the side of the body, raise the legs up, inhale, arms close to the body. Exhale, bring the legs down. Matsyasan, the fish pose, giving a count stretch to the body. Tuck the arms under the head, body, uh, elbows closely in, hands stretching down under the thighs. Inhale, raise the head up, chest up, come up on the elbows. Don't be in a hurry. First, adjust your shoulder blades together, elbows a little closer, chest more up. Then exhale, arch your back and bring the top of the head to the floor, to the mat. Be alert in the body. Keep pushing the body weight on the elbows. Release the neck and head from pressure. So be alert all the time till you hold the posture. And focus on deep breathing, stretch the inhalations to the abdomen, lower abdomen. And exhale the breath completely. Count on the breath, do not lose the awareness on the breath. Pause after every inhalation and every exhalation. Slow down the breath, elongate the breath. Slowly inhale, raise the head up, chest up, come up, look to the toes and exhale, bring the head and chest down. Bring the arms out, rotate the wrist a few times, clockwise, anti-clockwise, turn the head side to side. Now relax in Sukta Badakonasan, bend the knees and join the soles together, arms in Shavasan, shoulders away from the ears. Bring the chin close to the chest, keep the feet at a comfortable distance from the body. It's your body. So you have to figure out where you can place the feet so that the inner thighs can relax better. 
and don't hesitate to move the feet forward. Just like the way I do. Keep the lower back on the mat. Breath is active. A gentle hip opener. Join the knees together, take your time, stretch the legs forward and give a good stretch to the body, the arms to the head and clock the fingers, stretch the whole body and slowly release the posture and sit up. Join the soles together and let's skip the butterfly, stretch the arms forward. You can adjust the feet according to your practice, maybe close to the groin or just a little forward so that you have a good forward bend. Inhale, stretch the arms up and exhale, stretch the body forward and come down. You may place the hands on the mat, reach with your spine forward, arms forward. So adjust your feet, Dr. Ritu, you can bring the feet a little forward when you're more comfortable. If that doesn't work, you can hold the toes and extend the body more forward. Keep the forehead on the feet, on the soles. Shoulders relaxed, Saroj bend the elbows. Slowly come up and now slide the arms from inside the legs. Hold the toes, watch the screen if you're, if you're not able to stand. Lengthen the body back, open the chest as you inhale and exhale, extend forward and come down. Adjust your feet, doesn't matter how close or how far you keep it, provided you feel a good stretch in the hip joint. Stay there and breathe. Keep trying to move the knees closer down towards the floor by relaxing the inner thighs. As you inhale, slowly stretch forward and come up. Exhale, release the posture, straighten both the legs. Get ready for Pachimutanasana. Lengthen the back, push the knees down, point the toes up, push the heels out. As you inhale, stretch the arms up along the ears, stretch up from the base of the spine. As you exhale, stretch forward and come down. So work on the back, work on the hamstrings. If your hamstrings are too tight, initially you bend the knees and bring the chest close to the thighs. Then as you relax with the breath more and more, you may straighten the knees. This is the way we build on the practice. Do not tense the muscles. You cannot come down in that way. And the stretch takes place from the spine, base of the spine or the hip joint. Do not stretch from the shoulders. Every exhalation contract the abdomen and feel the changes that take place in the posture. Let's for our last five deep breaths, surrender completely to the mother earth not putting any pressure anywhere in the body, just letting go. Slowly stretch forward as you inhale and stretch up. Exhale, place the hands behind, fingers pointing away. Give you count, stretch to the body, drop the head back. Inhale, raise the buttocks up and come up. Bring the feet flat down. Come up higher. Little more up. 
hold for 10, 9. We do walk the feet a little forward and you can come up higher. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come down. Relax on the abdomen. Turn the head one side. Big toe stretching, heels relaxing sideways apart. Create the pressure on the abdomen as you inhale. And as you exhale, allow the body to sink down to the mat. Recharging the body, preparing for the backward bends. Get ready for Bhujangasan. Place the forehead down, feet together, the toes pointing back, tuck the elbows close to the chest and fingertips in line with the shoulders, forehead down. As you inhale, raise the head up, chest up and come up. So let us today lift the hands off the mat and understand the strength of our back. Stay up. And try to press the abdomen and lift the chest more up. Without using your hands, press on the abdomen, lift the chest up. Stay there and breathe. Now place the hands down and lift the chest more up now. Use the hand strength partially, more with the back, less with the hands. That's how you hold the posture. See if you can drop the head back. Very good. And slowly exhale, come down. Turn the head to the left, make a pillow and relax. Chalab Asan, the locust. Bring the arms into the body, stretch the chin forward. Elbows closely in. You may interlock the fingers, make fist of your hands or place the hands on the mat. Inhale, raise the right leg straight back and up. Exhale, bring the right leg down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Right leg up, inhale. Support the right thigh with your left foot. Keep the body centered. Do not tilt the hip on side. Right leg is to the right. Transfer the body weight towards the chin to feel lightness in the lower back. Slowly release the support and bring the leg down. Adjust your arms more in. Left leg up, inhale. Support the left thigh with your right foot. Hold the push. Slowly exhale, come down. Take two breaths. Visualize the full posture, locust shalabhasan. Visualize more strength in the arms to have an initial lift in the body, in the legs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now get ready. Inhale, raise both your legs up and come up. Keep the knees straight wherever you've reached. Stay up, hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly come down. Bring your arms out, turn the head one side and relax.
Last backward bend, then rats in the bow pose, pour it down, bend the knees and hold your ankles. Inhale, raise the knees up, thighs up, head up, chest up and come up. Feel a good pressure on the abdomen by lifting the body more up. Close your eyes and visualize a flexible hip joint, more flexibility in the hip region to come up higher with your legs. Stay up 10, relax the face, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, slowly come down. Turn the head for a while to the other side. And now place the hands under the shoulders, hold it down, come up on the knees and the hands, Matriyasan. Align the knees and the buttocks, wrists and the shoulders. Inhale, arch the back, stretch the chin forward, push the hip back. Exhale, round the back, bring the chin close to the chin. Abdomen in towards the back. One more time, inhale, stretch, arch the back. Exhale, round your back. Come back to the neutral position as you inhale. Widen the knees apart, let's relax into the wide angle extended child's pose. Arms stretching forward. Try to bring the chest completely down. <clears throat> More the knees apart, better is the stretch in the hip joint. Every day we are making a lot of effort to keep our hip joint flexible and supple with these postures. As we grow older, the hip joint becomes very stubborn and that is the main cause of the back pain. With a stubborn hip joint, the back is stiff, hamstrings are tight. And tighter hamstrings also lead to back pain. Please slowly come up, take your time, come up. Get ready for half spinal twist at Matsingrasana. Sit up on the heels, knees together, lower the body to the right, bring the left foot across the right thigh. Place the left hand behind, close to the tailbone, stretch your right arm up, inhale, lengthen up as you exhale, twist to the left, push the outside of the right, left knee with your upper right arm, hold the ankle and look to the left shoulder. The weight distributed equally on the sitting bones, don't lift one buttock up and try not to put any pressure, any weight on the left hand. Conscious effort to contract the abdomen to draw the knee more in towards the chest. Feeling a good pressure on the abdomen, press it in. Stimulating the abdominal arteries. Shoulders in one straight line. If the right shoulder is raised up, move the left foot a little forward. Inhale, raise the right arm up and exhale, bring it down. Change the side, lower down to the left. Bring the right foot across the left thigh, place the right hand behind, left arm up, inhale. Exhale, twist to the right, push the outside of the left knee, uh, sorry, right knee with your upper left arm and hold the ankle. Turn the head to the right. Keep the back lifted up. Once again, watch your posture. Shoulder, the left shoulder should not be raised up. And get the maximum pressure on the abdomen by adjusting your body. Those who do the practice mindfully, they never have to see a doctor for any abdominal disorder or any other problem in the body. Gradually, all the problems in the body start vanishing. You don't even remember if you had any disorder in the abdomen or any problem in the joints if you do your practice regularly and mindfully. If you do it just for the sake of doing, it's not going to help much. Now inhale, raise the left arm up and exhale, bring it down. Hug the knees close to the chest, sit up straight. 
And as you inhale, raise the chin up, keep the mouth closed. Exhale, bring the chin down. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, gently turn the head right. Inhale to the center. Exhale, turn the head gently to the left. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, lower the head right. Inhale, center. Exhale, lower the head left. Inhale to the center. Now place the hands ahead of the feet and come up into the inverted V. So we skip the crow today. We'll do the Anjani Asana as the balancing posture. So stay here comfortably. Breathe here. Now as you inhale, raise the right leg up. Do not tilt the hip, keep the hip square. Shamlima, don't tilt the hip, keep the hip square and then raise the leg as high, only, only as high up as you can without bending the knee. Press the hands, push the chest down and keep the leg straight, don't tilt. Now, now the next inhalation, draw the right foot forward between the hands. Move the left knee down, push the left leg more back. Lift the hands up, place the hands on the right thigh. Push down, push the pelvis down, take two breaths here first. And now arch the back as much as possible. Extend the arms up along the ears and Push the pelvis more down, arch your back more, look up to the hands. Anjani Asan, you know, place the left knee down. If your knee hurts, you may place a cushion under the knee. Keep breathing. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Place the hands down. Hands down, move back into the inverted V. Raise the right leg up again. Inhale. Tilt the hip this time. Open the chest towards the ceiling. Look up from under the right armpit. Bend the right knee. Bring the right heel close to the hip. So twist from the waist. Open the chest up. Look up. And aim to move the knee up towards the ceiling, not the foot. That's very good. Slowly. Center the body. Raise the leg up. And bring the leg down as you exhale. Now raise the left leg straight up as you inhale. Do not tilt the hip. Push the chest more down without tilting the body. Now on the inhalation, bring the left leg forward, left foot between the hands. Put the right knee down, move the right leg more back, as far back as you can. Those who have knee pain, please create a cushion under the right knee and place a cushion or double the mat under the right knee. Now lift the hands off the mat and place the hands on the left thigh. Stay here, breathe. Push the pelvis down. Now arch the back and drop the head. Stay. Then extend the arms along the ears and do your best. Anjani Asan, hold for five. Keep pushing down. Arch your back more. Four, three, two, one, slowly. Place the hands down, move back into inverted V. Raise the left leg up again, inhale. Tilt, twist the body, move the chest, place the chest up towards the ceiling, look up from under the left arm, bend the left knee, bring the left knee close to the body. Left knee moving up towards the ceiling, twist the waist, very good, breathe. And slowly, center the body, raise the leg up, inhale. Exhale, bring the leg down. And the next inhalation, bring the left, right leg forward. Inhalation, right leg forward, left leg forward. Hold the ankles. Stay to the forward bend. Keep the knees straight, body weight shifted forward. Chest close to the thighs, forehead close to the knees. Keep the knees straight. Keep breathing. Now hold the opposite elbows and dangle your upper body loose. No, 
in front. Just release the ankle hold, hold the opposite elbows, let the hang, arms hang loose in front, holding the opposite elbows. There is no pressure on the neck or the head to hold the posture. Let the gravity pull the upper body towards the floor. So you're not doing any work to hold the posture, know this. Bend the knees, bend the knees, everybody. Now, dangle your arms loose. Keep the chin tucking in one vertebra at a time. Please come up gently and slowly take your time. Feet apart, hip distance, support the back, rub the head back and push the hip forward. Again, to count the stretch to the body. Breathe here. And slowly come up. The last posture, Trikonasan. Separate the legs apart, three to four feet. Feet pointing forward. Turn the right foot to the right. Left foot slightly in. Hips facing forward. Stretch the left arm up along the ear. Lengthen up. Relax the right shoulder. Exhale, bend down to the right. Look in front or look up. Feel a good stretch in the left side. Keep breathing. Inhale, slowly come up. And exhale, bring the arm down. Feet pointing forward, turn the left foot out and the right foot in. Right arm up as you inhale, lengthen up the body. Exhale, bend down to the left side. Entire right side stretching from the outer edge of the right foot to the fingertips of the right hand. Try to push the right hip a little forward, right buttock a little forward so that you do not twist the body. Keep breathing. Inhale, slowly come up and exhale, bring the arm down, join the legs together, come to front of the mat, time for final relaxation. Please sit down, lie down, relax on your back, Shavasana. Slow down the breath, slow down the body. Now for, for tensing the body parts, raise the right leg two inches up, tense the leg, tense the leg and drop it down. Left leg up, tense the left leg, tense it and drop it down. Raise both your legs up, tense the legs, tense the legs and drop. Now lift the buttocks off the mat, tense the buttocks, tense and drop. Contract the abdomen, press the small of the back to the mat, let go. Lift the chest up, up, up and release it down. Squeeze the shoulders into the ears. Push the shoulders down. Raise the arms up a few inches. Clench your fingers tight, tight. Open the fingers, tense your arms, tense your arms and drop. Tense all the facial muscles to the nose. Tense and let go. Open the mouth, stretch the tongue out. Open the eyes wide, look to the forehead. Stretch all the facial muscles, stretch and release. Move the shoulders more down, gently turn the head to the right. Try to bring the right cheek down. Come back to the center and to the left. Left cheek down. Back to the center. Make the final adjustment to the body. Move the shoulders away from the ears. Arms a few inches apart, away from the body. Palms turned up into the chest. Feet relaxed to the sides. With legs comfortably apart. Watch the breath. If the breath is still rapid, please slow it down consciously. Let's give a mental silent command to relax each part of the body. Relax the toes, soles, heels and the ankles. Relax the shins and the calves. The knees and the thighs. The 
Relax the body. Relax the hip joint. Relax the abdomen and the chest. Bring the awareness to the back. So you are back. Land the upper back. Now the back to relax down with gravity. Relax the arms and the shoulders. Relax the neck and the throat. Relax the back of the head, the top of the head, forehead, the eyes, the nostrils, the cheekbones. Relax the jaw. The tongue in the mouth. Relax. Relax all the general organs in the abdomen. Relax the lungs, relax the heart and the brain. Become aware of the mind, let go in the mind, relax the mind, relax the mind.
Bring your awareness back to the body. Move the toes, move the fingers, move the feet, the hands, shake out the legs and the arms. Gently turn the head side to side. Breathe deeply and consciously. Bring the legs together. Interlock your fingers, stretch the arms up, and a gentle stretch to the body. Release the stretch, bend the knees, take your time. Support with your hand and sit up for the final prayer. Thank you to the masters for your own Thank you, everybody.